Hey guys, we've got another build guide for Darkness 100. This one is on Dash Maris. So we've finally got a build going for Dash Maris. Now this is probably one of the most interesting Darkness 100 builds we've done thus far. So we're going to be using static lightning circles. So when we dash, a lightning circle damages enemies around us. Charge field, more damage. Discharge, so we're going to also emit lightning sparks around us when we dash. Going to go for surge, so dash recharge space. Uh, speed is increased. Channel. So more damage when we're not attacking. One for Arcane Intelligence. Two points into Esoteric Flow. Bookworm. Astral Wrap. And Mystical Prescience. So what makes this build tick? So we're going for the curse items here. So this is, uh, this is going to allow us to really uh, take control of the battlefield here. So using Curse of Inaction. Curse of Slowing on our boots. Curse of Inaccuracy on our ring. And Curse of Weakness on our uh, chest piece here. Now we're going to pair that with the Queen of Worms for healing and master offers. Black Lamp for master and legend offers. Waste also for master and legend offers as well as life. Now our staff here has 221% dash damage, has dash crit chance as well as 25% dash area. So extra dash area is really, really nice from this thing. We're also going for dash duration on an amulet up here with dash damage, so duration and damage combo. We're going to add a cattail on this uh, this build for a revival, so we're going to go in with one revive. As you can see, we only got 237 health, we got 0.55 regen. So not that crazy, but we got 406% dash damage, 6.5% dash crit, as well as 50% dash area and 40% dash duration. So we spec pretty hard into into dash down here. What we're going to try and do here is get the vortex dash from time and pair that with Chrom God of War and probably take Lady Justice for healing. For the extra dash charge, we'd love to see the fate show up too. So that's really what we uh, ideally what we'd like to see here. Guys, if you're enjoying the Darkness 100 content, if you like dash Maris at Darkness 100, hit that subscribe button. As you can see, the Lightning Ring Dash is doing most of the damage for us early on here. We do have the uh, the Lightning Balls coming out there too, which they're okay, but they're not really the focus of, of what we're doing to build here. And we got Lady Justice right away. Can we roll in a piece? Can we get lucky here? Oh, we're just going to take protection early on. Only got a few re-rolls on the build, so we do want Lady Justice in the kit to have her healing, because a Darkness 100, I mean, it's just, it's so good, so. Lady Justice again, so we're going to roll away. We've got Nin, not really what we're looking for. Lay Gong again, not what we're looking for. And here, we got, uh, we've got time, so. Going to take the Alteration Ritual here. Not really interested in the taste of time. Um, we'll get into that later. Um, but right now, we're going to take Alteration Ritual, because we want time, we want the Vortex dash, that's what we're looking for as our dash in this build. Early on, it's just about trying to survive while you kill everything. Does enough damage, this, this Lightning Ring does enough damage early on that you can kill the Skeletons pretty, pretty easily. We're going to Alterate here again, look for Chrom, and we got God of War, so this is pretty lucky. Landing God of War here, early on. But we take it. So we're at half health here. Like to start regening, but we're on fire. <laughs> we do have some base life regen on the build, so we can start regening here. Chrome again. There's charge. So banish that rampaging. What else can he give us? Banishing chains as well. Got pretty greedy with the banishes here because we wanted to try and get his two passives that. That will buff our uh, our dash here. So Rampage and Hall. Rampage is the damage and Hall is dash area. So Hall is going to be pretty crucial for this build. Uh, we're absolutely going to want to grab it. So that's why we've thinned out his, his loot pool here a bit. Otherwise we could, uh, we could save it for someone else for time maybe, but... And uh, we just get the Alteration Ritual early up here, so we're just buffing that. Not bad to have... Dash recharge speed is really nice on this this setup. We can just get around really quickly here now. 
So we just decide, you know, we're going to try and look for some map events early while we have the uh, extra dash recharge speed here. So as you can see, there's a bunch on the map here. So we're just going to farm up while we uh, while we heal up a bit here. Not attacking, so we take the max life on this one. Could take Radiance here. Radiance is interesting. A little bit extra AoE at, at expert level 2. We take that. It helps if anything gets really close to us. Can also take power area if we, if we come across it on the map. Now pandemonium, don't really need it early on here. We can just take the attack. Now that will increase the damage of the lightning ball, so not the ring, but the actual balls there. And we're getting close to full health again here, which is nice. We're up to two hundred seventy-two max health. So getting some extra math, max health map events is is really nice early on here too. We're still searching for, for the dash, as you can see. We've got the blades going. So we can dash around to spew out some extra blades here. So far, <clears throat> it's a good start getting God of War. And see the damage output is much nicer. And we've gotten the, the taste of time, but here is our vortex dash. So it finally shows up here for us. As you can see, it sort of sucks uh, <laughs> sucks the elites in, which is one of the reasons that we we kind of like kind of like using it here. Uh, and if we get the damage up on it, it uh, actually does quite quite a bit of uh, damage as well. Could take blood swords here. Could take a blade upgrade. Have the blood blood swords in the uh, in the kit there. Okay, so we take that vortex dash every time we see it now. I'm going to try and boost that uh, that DPS on it as much as we can. And uh, we're going to want to take Hall to make it as big as possible. So that's our goal here, as well as just uh, as many damage upgrades as we can. The more we upgrade our uh, dash boon, our dash blessing, um, we get more dash damage for our lightning ring here as well. That's going to be one of our goals here. So Dash Maris, this took a long time to to put together uh, put together a build that really works at Darkness 100 here. So really take advantage of the the curse items to slow the enemies down and sort of make make the attacks a bit more manageable here. Because when you're using a dash on Maris here, you you have to get up close and boy Maris does not like taking a lot of hits. So. But uh, this build really worked out in the end with uh, with the Vortex Dash here. I was actually pretty impressed with uh, with this dash uh, out of all of them. It has utility and damage together, so it's pretty nice, especially once we make it big here. Searching for more map events before the uh, the cats spawn in here. Now there are a few, you know, close moments here. Throughout the run when using Dash Maris. Some of the tankier enemies, you're going to have to dash on them a bunch. And you're going to have to try and avoid all the attacks as you go. But we're back to full now for the cats here. See how we go. As you can see, if we just get a uh, Vortex Dash under them, it just melts them. Okay, so we've got Rampage and Hall. So we've got to take the Hall here, right? It's only Novice, but 34% area. Now I'm just considering whether do I do I get greedy and, and, and try and search for a master level haul, but I figured right now we need the extra uh, the extra boost, so we'll grab it. Hopefully level it up later. Now ideally when you're doing a run like this, if you could land the master haul, that'd be perfect. I mean that'd be ideal. We just don't have a lot of rerolls on the build. If we had more rerolls, we opted for taking the extra Master and Legend offers instead. Here we got Hall over to the right. I was considering taking Hebridge for a second, but then I realized, oh, we have Hall there. So the bigger it gets, the uh, the easier things are gonna gonna get for us here. Now we're also looking for the Fates still. If we can get a, we want to take the extra dash charge. It's gonna be it's gonna be really nice. Um, if we can land first strike as well, obviously it's uh, going to be pretty huge for us. And lifeline is good too, so 
which is pretty useful for us here in this particular build. And we're just uh, looking for these map events because, as you can see, dash recharge speed. It's going to be really, really nice. We can also land dash uh, damage on some of these uh, map events too. So searching for both of those as we go here. So Dash Maris, I really enjoy Dash, Dash Maris. She's just not that strong at Darkness 100. You really have to do a pretty crazy setup here to really, really make it work. But but at the same time, I, th I actually found it really fun to build craft this one. It's, gonna be one. it's one of the more interesting builds I think we've done in terms of our actual gear, taking advantage of our gear and the way we've set up our, our class to really topple Darkness 100 with this setup. But we're going to alterate here. <coughs> Just searching for more Chrome if we can get him, but we got the Fates instead. So, gonna have to take something here. We don't really love these three options, so we just took one of them. But we like having the Fates, so... Got the uh, the correct God set up for what we're trying to do here. We just need more uh, of the correct Blessings to show up to boost our damage here. As you can see, we're doing, what, 6,000, 5,000, 3,000... So not crazy damage with our with our lightning ring. Our um, vortex dash is actually going to be one of our bigger damage dealers for our elite enemies. So I'm trying to get close to them to just to really dash on them quickly so they don't damage us too much. As you can see right now though, we're sitting kind of pretty, and we're regening. But we've got the first boss coming up here, and um, first boss is going to be tricky because we don't have crazy damage here yet. We do have God of War though, so it could be worse. Okay, just take more damage. Just stacking up the damage here. And we've got another dash recharge speed here. So we've got pretty insane dash recharge speed here at the moment now. We like that, but we, we want the extra dash charge as well. And you can see just uh, how much damage that did just um, dashing on him a few times there with uh, with our Vortex. So just trying to avoid the, um, the puddle on the ground while we uh, just dash on him a few more times to uh, finish him off there. As you can see, that actually went surprisingly quickly. So, Vortex, Dash. Actually putting in some, some pretty big work here. I'm actually pretty impressed with this thing. Um, after using a bunch of the different dashes to try and try and make Dash Maris work here. I'm the most impressed with the Vortex Dash. Not only does it have utility because it can suck the enemies in and can sort of help you control the battlefield. Just the damage, as you saw, against the boss. And we don't even have it leveled up very much, so... Good signs here for Dash Maris. So we're going to want to see the Fates show up here and more Chrom if we can get them. Got a temporary uh, Dash Charge here, which is really nice. We have a little bit of that esoteric flow going with the blades. Which is not really, actually, at the end of the day, it's not really doing much damage compared to our dash here. Okay, what do you have for us? Nothing that great. Could take Just take lifeline here. Extra 10%. And here we go. We've got the dash damage. So we want to see this cat show up again. Any boost to our dash damage is going to be good. An additional modifier here is going to just be really, really nice. So, Okay, so it's still taking a few dashes to kill some of these guys. But if we get the, um, the vortex on them, it's really melting them pretty quickly here. So you can see the power of the curse items in this uh, in this run here too. Enemies being a lot slower, attacking less often, all that sort of stuff. I think the slow and the curse of weakness for Darkness Hundred are the two that are really really the most powerful. But having the um, the 
the enemies act less often too is just really really powerful and we could take a shield here extra shield for darkness 100 is nice on maris Haven't really gone under half health for a while here now, so this is a, a good sign. We just need to keep boosting our, our damage here. <coughs> Alright. Melting these cats, which is lovely. So yeah, these curse items, now that I've uh, stacked them uh, together on a build here, you really can feel the uh, the the difference on Darkness 100. Enemies do feel nerfed overall a bit, which is really nice. You, you do have to well, obviously get them on some useful items. You can't just take junk items in just because they have a, uh, a curse on them. Although maybe with Curse of uh, Weakness you, you probably could, because it's that good. Alright, so we, uh, we are getting tagged up a bit here now, so we've got wave 10 and 11, so let's see how we go the more difficult waves here. We could take power area, we could take summon damage. I should take the summon damage here for no particular reason. Okay, so these ants take a few dashes to, to really get going. Okay, and first strike shows up right here, which is really, really nice timing. So we want our lightning ring to chunk for big damage when we dash. We want our vortex to do big damage when it first hits to. Okay, we've got a different cat this time. Okay, 11 minutes coming up here. See how we go dashing on these uh, these cats here. Okay, we take that dash area. So we're actually pretty low right right now. So I'm actually a little, a little on the on the edge of my safe for this one. So we still have some of these apes chasing me too. Uh, we do kill them relatively easily, but we need to get close to them, and they can still chunk us for massive damage here. So as you can see, I'm just dashing like a crazy person, trying to <laughs> trying to stay agile, trying to. Trying to keep them locked down with my vortex sucking them in here. Get chunked a little bit there. Okay, and then I thought we were sitting pretty. Um, uh, is there another one? I think we're sitting pretty now. So we made it through there at about, what, about, I don't know, quarter health or so. That was a little bit of a close round there, but a as is usual on Darkness 100, uh, wave 11 there, probably the hardest wave. Or at least probably one of the waves that will really test your build before you go through to the final boss. I think sometimes the bombers can be pretty annoying because they just all chunk you at the same time. Just depending on how your build is by the time you get there, I suppose. This particular setup, if we can keep uh, boosting our damage here. Get some more level ups. And we got fleet footed here too. So the fates are absolutely putting out at the moment. So we, we love to see that. Now we have three by default. We can just dash everywhere and put our vortex down in a big area. Everything gets sucked in. Everything gets chunked for big damage. Now we just want to keep boosting the vortex. And we uh, got the um, crocodile here a few times. Which is actually really nice because we like taking the max HP. Cast damage for our blades, I guess. Got the hippo. Take more life. So we got pretty lucky with some map max life upgrades here. And another damage one here too. Could save it for the boss. I think uh yeah, I think we save this one for the boss here now, so let's farm up these ones close by. We always take more healing, I think, here. More hit more healing is really, really useful on the build. As you can see, though, we do have decent uh, health regen, so we do uh, do slowly make it back up. And here's Gem High. So Gem High just kind of shows up out of nowhere. 
And I'm just sitting there like, uh, yeah, okay, the extra move speed's probably going to be really nice here. So we get Gem High, and then we get a um, Magnus to show up straight away, which is kind of interesting as well. So now we're just boosting around. So these Snippy Boys can be pretty annoying, but they do get sucked in with your uh, Vortex Dash. So base damage up to 11, 1100 now per second. As you can see, because it uh, sucks them in, it makes pretty pretty short work of uh, the elites here now. Now that we have three of them going, and here's Inner Pace. It just so we just get a string of legendaries to show up at the at, at this sort of twelve to thirteen minute mark here, which really makes a difference. But we made it this far without Inner Pace, so we probably could have gone all the way with this one without Inner Pace. I think this build you can do without Inner Pace, which is actually pretty cool. To, uh, after struggling so much with, uh, Dash Maris to get a build that can work at Darkness 100 without, uh, um, Inner Peace is actually really, really cool, but now that we have Inner Peace, we can abuse it a little more and get really aggressive on the bosses here. So we do get Chunk for some damage, but she's pretty low here now, and about 20, 25 seconds or so. Got through uh, with full health though, and if we can boost up our damage a little more before the uh, final boss here, be sitting pretty. So Dash Maris finally got a setup working. It's really really cool to see. As I said before, this is probably one of my favorite builds that I've uh, constructed for Darkness One Hundred. You really had to put together something pretty pretty interesting and pretty intricate to to get it all done. Uh, at the end of the day, like, every gear piece kind of, kind of, is helping out in its own way. We got the, um, the staff, which has massive dash damage and area on it together, which is really, really good. If we didn't have that, we wouldn't have as much base damage for the dash going in. Hall to level 5 here now, so it's really good to see. <coughs> Got snake, so we just add the poison to our dash too, why not? Now with Interpeace, we're just sort of hovering around full health most of the time here. And we just take the, the damage. So we do have um, first strike now, so some of these uh, first strike hits are pretty pretty chunky. But we really are relying more on our Vortex to do the damage over time to, to take out most of the enemies here, or at least uh, anything that has high health. Anything with those barriers that don't just get chunked by the uh, lightning ring. And uh, we've got a hall upgrade here again, so up to 198%. So this is what we want, absolutely. As you can see, our dashes are pretty pretty chunky now. Taking up a good uh, good portion of the screen here. So now we've got the bombers, so we're just going to try and dash on them as much as we can. Here, it doesn't really matter. Nothing great for what we're doing, so we just take the fortune. So we're just dashing on these fools, and you can see the, uh, the power of uh, the vortex dash on Maris here now. Ooh. Just take a uh, Bloodsword upgrade or Blades, either one here. So again, we don't have a crazy high amount of rerolls on this particular build. We could put some more on, I guess, but I like having the setup with some extra Master and Legend offers from uh, the Black Lamp. I think it really helped us out getting uh, First Strike and Gem High and, and all that in that run there. Which was definitely lucky, but sometimes you need luck in runs like this when you have a setup that isn't necessarily, you know, meta. When you're using something really, really off meta like this, you you need you really need stuff like God of War to show up. Um, I was impressed that we were doing pretty good without inner peace, though. So that, so that was really nice to see. But I think that also shows the kind of the power of the curse items too. 
um, in action and slowing as well as the curse of weakness, just all, all that combined together made this, uh, build really, really good. So we take uh, pandemonium finally 17 minutes in just to have it upgrade everything that, that wasn't upgraded there. And we're not really getting that many extra, um, damage upgrades here. Ideally we'd like our, our dash to be leveled up more. Not sure what level it is right now, actually. I, uh, I think we got up to like 1100 base damage or something like that. As you can see though, really it melts uh, melts everything that uh, gets uh, sucked in. And because of our alteration ritual, we've also got some uh, <laughs> extra lightning bolts uh, going when we're dashing around too. So I don't think the Alteration Ritual was too impactful in this run. I mean, it probably helped out a little bit, but... It's nice to have early on here. We get it up to level 5 now, so 14, uh, 1400 base damage per second. I think it's per second, or per tick. <coughs> okay, we'll crumb again. Rampage. So Rampage shows up here at novice level. It's not ideal, but we're pretty close to the end, so any extra damage is going to be nice at this point. I'm fortunate to get a lot of master offers on stuff we didn't want, and then on the stuff we really needed, a lot of it came as uh, <laughs> at novice level. Uh, again, war pact is novice, but extra eight percent is eight percent. We could take the blood sword upgrade here now that it's master. Getting it upgraded here is actually not bad. You can see we get chunk for some pretty pretty big hits here still, so we're not completely safe. But we did also put the uh, the cattail, the revival on on the build, so we do actually have a revive that we haven't used yet. That's going to allow us to get pretty aggressive uh, come boss uh, boss damage time because we really want to take him out quickly. We don't want to be sitting there trying to war war of attrition him down with our lightning ring. Our main damage source is going to be the the vortex. So, well, we are almost back to full here now. So we got. Some bombers, and then we got our damage, uh, our damage thing waiting here for uh, for the boss round for us. So, as you can see, we took a massive chunk right there. I see upon okay, so we're just uh, dashing in a big circle here. Not really doing anything too crazy, just uh, trying not to take any more hits. And uh, we can just take Piety here, just for the uh, the extra healing, tiny bit of extra healing. Crumb again, can he give us something good? Rampage? Sure. We take that extra extra damage there. So every bit counts before the uh, the boss, boss round here. Uh, we didn't get anything great here, so just take uh, take our blades. So we're relatively close to full health here uh, before the boss round. Not quite at full as these bombers did uh, chunk us for quite a bit of damage. We also have this uh, ninja wizard type still alive there. Okay, we're in the final boss here, so we're going to pop this uh, damage thing and go, go to town on him. So the strategy here is pretty simple. We do like to try and stay safe if we can, but we're just going to dash on him. As we have the revive, so we have uh, we have a bit of safety here to work with. We got him under half here, so uh, we can be pretty aggressive. We are going to ding the revive here, though. There you go. Now he does um, he does get pretty aggressive on me here with the uh, the flame. We should have hid there, so that was a that was a mistake. But we still got him in the end. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dash Maris finally conquers Darkness One Hundred. Really cool build. Requires uh, quite a bit of, of gear, endgame gear, to really get going. But, as you can see in the end, the Lightning Circle doing 13.8 mil. Vortex doing 11.6. So, those two are really doing doing most of the damage. Blade's actually coming in and doing some big damage for us there too. So, maybe we should have leveled that up a little bit more. But, discharges the other uh, Lightning um, Balls. So, they were helping out as well there. As you can see, we did get a, a few legendaries there, but um, the fate's really helping out.
Thanks everyone who's been tuning in to the content lately. Consider hitting like and subscribe. Thank you very much.